Hi guys, Bran here, and welcome to one of the most challenging and interesting first days for a chapter I've ever had. I have not loved and hated something as much as I both simultaneously love and hate Dracula at the same time. How is this possible? How does this work? Well, let's go ahead and talk about it. You know how you'd be playing like a Soulsborne game, right? Like Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, etc. You play those games and you're suffering and you're hating it the whole time. But then somebody's like, oh, well, like, should I buy it? Because it doesn't seem like you're having a good time. You'd be like, well, actually, it's got very, very good lore. And it's actually definitely worth every single second. Like, that is how I feel interacting with Dracula and recommending them to other people. Because holy moly, this character is suffering. This character is suffering. But they're very cool and they're very neat. But... There's a lot that goes into that. First off, I want to say this character is simultaneously a pub stomper, but also somebody who gets very, very much stomped by good teams. Something a la like Pinhead, something like that, where Pinhead, you know, obviously if you go for the box and you, you have a good box hunt juggle going on, uh, most teams will fold pretty easily under you. Dracula is the same way. Most survivors that don't know to dodge the Hellfire, to like look behind them and dodge the Hellfire, which is very funny because like that's the bare basics, right? But, you know. You've, you've played that by now. You run into people that don't even look behind them at all. You're going to be just destroying people with Hellfire. The wolf is going to be something that people don't look behind them. You're just going to be able to double pounce and catch them out in open areas. This character is very, very good against inexperienced survivors or survivors who are just bad. Like you're going to mow down survivors that just don't pay attention. But there's going to be a very, very stark moment when you are in mid or higher MMR where you realize that survivors actually look behind them. And in that case, the Hellfire, you can't strafe or flick like a Z-Morph tail attack or something like that. And they, they just dodge super easily. <laughs> or you're in wolf form. And once again, the, the Pounce has a very, very sensitive hitbox. And it's really, really hard to pull off. And especially in open areas, the survivors are very, very zigzaggy on what they do. So you're probably just going to fly past them and miss. And it's going to be really, really frustrating. There was a point in the middle of like my six hour stream today at twitch.tv slash the Mr. Headache, um, where I was like, I don't know what the point of this character is. I hate this character. I feel like a worse version of four different characters at the same time. If I am going to be playing an anti-chase killer that can hit over loops, why don't I just use the tail attack on Xenomorph? Why am I using the Hellfire? Why am I doing that? If I want to try and learn to pounce or double pound someone, why don't I just play Wesker who does this way, way, way better? Uh, if I wanted to teleport around the map and pressure people, why not play Spirit or Dredge? Like, I just was questioning what the point of playing this character was, because it just seems like he was a character that, despite the fact that he had a lot in his kit, there really wasn't a reason to play him over other characters, where usually characters that are in the same class, something like Huntress and Deathslinger, there's advantages to playing Deathslinger, even though Huntress is still the overall better uh, character in the like the range class of killers. There's still things Deathslinger does better that makes him more appealing than Huntress, even if overall the character's strength is not the same. I was really looking for that thing and couldn't find it, and for most of the stream today, it was just like, that. this just doesn't exist. He's just a jack-of-all-trades, master of none, piece of garbage <laughs> like i was actively going i hate this character i hate this character i don't like him he is i i would rather play anybody else and then and then and then i look down and when i mean look down not passively look down but i mean like look straight down into the point at which you cannot move the camera any longer and i use the wolf pounce you cannot deck as this character it's not nearly as smooth or as easy, definitely not as easy, as Blight. But you can hug deck as this character. And then that's where I was like, oh, oh, I see. And it clicks. This journey with Dracula is similar to the journey I had with Overheat Billy, where if you, before Overdrive Billy, which is one of the best characters in the game, you realize that Billy was a very, very weak character, like, basically couldn't do much at all especially if people just pre through pallets but there's a lot you could do with billy that was behind the scenes that was only accessible if you invested the time to actually learn and get good with him stuff like 360s s curves weird stuff like that that you know still helpful on modern billy but not as much anymore but was absolutely direly necessary on overheat billy to succeed at all and then suddenly the character was like a b minus killer he still wasn't that great but doing those hard to pull off things that, that climbing that super high uh that that skill curve for that super high skill floor suddenly it made sense suddenly you're like oh okay i see where this character can kind of do something 
And for Dracula, that was the hug tech on the wolf. Like I said, it's way, 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 way more difficult than Blight's hug tech. Realistically, Blight's hug tech was super easy. <laughs> and I know a lot of people don't want to hear me say that, but it was really easy. You just bump thing, look down and slide off. Like it was just, it was super simple. And I think that's one of the reasons I did not cry too much when it got removed or worry about it too much when it got removed. Yeah, it doesn't remove skill expression. Absolutely. But also it wasn't that big of a skill expression. It was actually really easy. Despite the fact that I basically barely ever played by a uh, blight, I could always do it <laughs> almost every game uh, with like no expertise, no training uh, or anything like that. No extended experience on the character. I could always do it. So wasn't that crazy, but Wolf's Hug Tech is not like that. You actually have to get pretty good at this. There's plenty of surfaces that are really, literally weird and won't out, outright won't let you hug tech. Uh, like I said, it's not just looking down like with Blight. You literally have to pan your camera so far down that your camera cannot move anymore to do these. So if you, you know, you essentially have to go for these hug techs looking straight down, which is really difficult because even if you double hug tech, which is also very hard, um, you, you're, you're not really getting to see like where the survivor is in the loop. Um, and you, if you do, you have to like do a very quick peek and go right back down before uh the, between the the pounces before the other one goes away it's complicated it's complicated stuff i will say um as uh, as with all my heart and chest if you are somebody that does not like difficult killers you will not like dracula if you are somebody who likes difficult killers but you're kind of like you know into another difficult killer right now like singularity or something like that you will not like dracula because you will not have the investment time to get good at this character um yeah if you're somebody that just wants somebody simple that you can just like hop on cruise and just like destroy teams and just like not really put in a lot of effort you're probably gonna hate this character because you're gonna be good at pump stomping for a little bit and then there's just gonna be a very 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 rough ceiling that you hit where you can no longer beat people who are even like moderately competent at the game because they're just dodging your hellfire they're just dodging your pounces they're hiding when you try to use your bat like it's like it's just miserable it is absolutely a miserable experience and is why i hated this character because just doing the bare basics of all of his forms does not cut it doing the bare basics of all his forms just doesn't cut it it will not get you into to consistent 4Ks. It just won't. You got to learn how to do the more in-depth stuff that this character does. You got to find all the weird Hellfire spots, when to use Hellfire. You got to do the hug tech with the wolf. You got to do all this stuff. Otherwise, like, you're going to suffer against good teams. <laughs> this, is a, this is a character that if you don't know that stuff, gets absolutely destroyed by good teams. That was like my first impression of the character today was that like, dude, this character sucks against good teams. Because like, if you don't know the deeper stuff or practice with the deeper stuff, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you just get you just get wailed on. So expect that. If you're going to get a Dracula, if you're going to secondary or main them, know that good teams will make like make make you miserable. They'll just make you miserable to make you suffer until you get better at that other stuff. But once you get better at that other stuff, like they, you're going to start pulling stuff on them that they don't see coming and things that they're not going to be able to dodge that they're probably going to think is lame. So you're going to have to tough out that middle part. I do think it's really, really funny because a lot of complaints going into this chapter, especially about Dracula in particular, is they were tired. Uh, the DBD community is tired of extremely complicated killers. <laughs> and while I initially was like, that's kind of a weird complaint to have. I think that while I like Dracula a lot, and I think it's super cool. I think we can pump the brakes a little bit because Dracula, I, I did have a harder time on Dracula than learning the original Singularity. I had a similar diff similarly similarly difficult time to learning Dracula than I did Overheat Billy, which is saying a lot because these are kind of the more complicated killers in Dead by Daylight's history. So yeah, I think we can take a break. <laughs> I think it would take, we can relax a little bit when it comes to uh, super intense, super complicated killers because um, we got it. We got we got a lot. So we, we can settle with those for now. Revisit this later. Um, yeah, wow. Just. That Dracula stuff is really crazy. Dracula is is a character of all time, and it's not for everybody. Uh, I I went through both phases of both loving and hating this character at the same time. <laughs> but like like I mentioned, uh, like a Soulsborn boss, I was like, this game sucks. I hate this. Ah! And then you beat the boss, you're like, oh okay, I love this game. <laughs> That's how it, that is the Dracula experience right there. Um, so. Yeah, I, I had people both in my chat being super disappointed today that I didn't like Dracula, like I just like disowned their family members or people that were like, yeah, absolutely. I hate this character, too. Screw him. <laughs> so um, 
very divisive character. And I think that any character that uh, drums up that kind of response in conversation, obviously good for the game. So yeah, did I try other characters today? Like Dredge and Nemesis that got changes? Yes, I do think they overall feel better. I do think that uh, kind of like the singularity changes, um, they just made them feel nicer to play. They're mostly quality of life changes um, that didn't really bump their tiers significantly, but just made the things that felt bad about them feel better. And that's really, really good. That's good. Uh, that's good design. And that's a good design direction to go for behavior. So yeah, not a whole lot to say there besides, yeah, those changes did help and they do feel good and they feel a lot better. Are they like S tier now? Are they even top 10? No, but they don't feel as terrible to play and that's kind of what they need to be yeah i am i am dying to know because i was dreading making this youtube video all day today because i went through both sides of both hating and loving dracula at the same time so i am like really interested how you guys are gonna take this how are you guys feeling about dracula because i was having both sides of the story both in myself in my chat all over the place today so i want to know what you guys think how do you feel about dracula do you think he's somebody that's like you know fairly high skill ceiling and a high skill floor that's like a really hard character to get into and that's kind of like the deal or do you think he's just kind of bad i heard a lot of people saying he was just outright mid today um so yeah what do you guys feel about that let me know down in the comments below that because we hit for today's video friends i do upload daily so i will see you tomorrow but if i do not i will see you when i see you goodbye